Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your pick a card reading. So, the title of this reading is going to be, What do your friends say about you behind your back? What a... <laughs> Not really my favorite subject, but you know, some people are interested to know. So, this is going to be pile one with the lapis. And this is going to be pile two with the rose quartz and pile three with the tiger's eye. Okay, and... Let's go ahead and, and get started. I don't know how you meditate on your cards on how to, to pick them, but you can just pause the video at any time and just pick them with your pendulum or whatever. And I always appreciate whenever anybody shares how they pick their cards, so it helps other people learn. Not everybody knows how to do it properly. And we're going to take away number three. And here we are, our pile number one. Let's find out what your friends are saying about you behind, the ba uh, behind your back. All right, your, your deck kind of guided me to have to do two oracle cards. So we got um, number one, all in the golden afternoon. Which I have not read this card yet. And then we have number four, Falling. Then we have... If I can get them to come apart. Here we go. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles. Oh boy. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Then we have, I'm going to set these up a little different. I need these over here. All right. Then we have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. We have the devil. And then we have the page of cups. And that ended up right next to the eight of wands. So what does that say? I don't know. Let's read number one, all in the golden afternoon. And it says, inspiration, creative spark, imagination, and conception. So it says, time to create an imagination, imaginative idea. Inspiration takes hold, talent and ability. The muse touches down on your great, on your life. Get ready. Huh. I think so. They're trying to say that you're, that they say behind your back is that you're creative. Okay. And then we have number four, Falling, which is good so far. <laughs> the in between, the end of what once was, the letting go of who you were and rebirth into a new life. Unknown outcomes, complete immersion in the process of change. Oh, okay. All right, I was just trying to. Also, this could also indicate falling in love. And we do have this devil card here. <sighs> For some of you, I'm feeling that, um, that you might have gotten hurt or had a recent breakup and you're already starting to get involved in a relationship with somebody else who may be even a Pisces or a water sign and they think it's a little bit too soon but they see you being tempted in you may be being tempted sexually there is a lot of communication going on here you they might have told you all of these things um,
they do I feels like okay there you might still be trying to get back with the person that you broke up with <laughs> while starting this new relationship and so this is why this two of swords is here and they're saying that you're you're being greedy I feel like okay so you might be messaging two people And there might be a Gemini thing going on here. Maybe the person that you're breaking up with is a Gemini. You have the Knight of Swords. Which is usually charging through, kind of recklessly doing things. So that's what they're saying about you behind your back. They feel like that you're, that I feel like that you're following, they that they're saying that you're falling in love and you may even be, they might, they think it's too soon, but doesn't mean it is, it's up to you. I feel like that they might have already communicated you this with you and they may, may even have communicated with out of love. Maybe even the person that you're, involved with the new person might have already said this themselves I think I'm getting that some a lot of things that um, they are saying behind your back they're also also saying to to your face so yeah so Basically, they're saying that they that you need to decide. You need to decide on one person and stick to the one person. I think they'd probably rather you move on from the person from the past and what it feels like. Because to them, it feels like it's being selfish for you to be you're being selfish. From, uh, trying to do it's not being fair to both people all right well if you like this kind of reading please give my video a thumbs up if you like a more private reading please you can see how to do that in the description below and if you would like to be notified of future readings please subscribe and hit the bell notification all right pile number one now i'm going to go ahead and go on to pile number two frogs but it's becoming a ongoing joke lately about frogs there it is all right now we're going to go on with pile number two with the rose quartz Here we are, pile number two with the rose quartz. And let's find out what your friends are saying about you behind your pack, your back, pile number two. Let's see. We have number 36. Shine bright like a candle. It says, you will make it through this. That's what they're saying about you behind your back. And then we have, wake up, it's your moment, number 25. Yeah, 25. I was like, did I really read 25? I guess I read 25. Then we have the Page of Cups. Mm -mm, page of Cups. Then we have the Knight of Cups. I'm going to get all these cards out here. All right, speaking, we have two of pentacles. And we have the hangman.
Then we have the Three of Wands. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Three of Cups. <clears throat> I'm getting for some of you that it, you might be having a birthday party and they might, for not all of you, there's going to be a tiny handful that are thinking about planning a surprise party for you. Let's just keep that on the download though. We have number 36 shine bright like a candle or maybe a birthday candle <laughs> i'm getting it's somebody's birthday coming up or they're having some kind of birthday birthday party i don't know how many people it is though it doesn't i, I just feel excitement for the birthday party all right so this card i'm reading here i haven't read it before it says your divine light is strong you're a radiant endurance re resilience Making it through a trying time, hopeful future, wondering about life and death, contemplating the purpose of your existence and con connections with the afterlife. So they're saying like you're a medium and that you're like psychic and that you have really strong divine light. And they think that you're, you're just like connected to the other world. That's pretty freaking awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> oh... But what about it? Maybe you're not facing it. Wake up. It's your moment. A rude awakening being asked to deliver before you feel you are ready. Being pre present and fully engaged with what is happening around you. Making an, a contribution. Being assertive despite your gentle nature. Insisting on being able to tell your story. Making your moment count. Sharing with others who are ready to listen. All right. Okay. So I feel like it's the other one. Maybe missing your moment, holding yourself back, sleeping through opportunities. This is how they get, not the first one so much. Maybe some of you might get, be getting the, 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 the other, the lighter version, but the darker version I'm feeling is more prominent to me right now. They're saying like, you're missing your moment, holding yourself back, sleeping through opportunities, not seeing the, the changes about you, hiding from your destiny. See? That's why I'm feeling it. See the destiny card? You're hiding from your destiny. Pulling back at the last moment, taking refuge in a dream would rather rather than stepping forward and seeing what you can create in the real world. Believing that no one would listen to you anyways. This is the tied with this card right here. This is saying that you need to surrender to your psychic abilities. That's what they're saying, okay? That's what your friends are saying about you. Believing that no one would listen to you anyway. Staying quiet to avoid disappointment. See? They, you need more confidence. That's what they want. They want you to get more confidence in your abilities. They think that you're amazing. And that you're just not seeing yourself for who you are. They see right here this thing. The Knight of Cups is saying that you're very empathic. And. You have the Two of Pentacles. They say they, they think that you're really balanced and flexible. Oh. Oh, excuse my air condition turned on. I had to turn it off. <sighs> Two of Pentacles is here. <clears throat> I'm feeling like your friends might be interested in similar things. It sounds like it's my dog. It's like, what is that? I think you're like a flexible, balanced person. They just, I feel like that you can do this and they want you to have the confidence to do it. I think, and then I think they want to have some kind of a get together or you will have a get together and you'll end up talking about this with your friends trying to think what else I got here.
They want to really see you doing this. And I see a message of love from something. So you're like a medium and you're empathic. You just are psychic and you have things you got to do. That's what your friends are saying about you behind your back. Not the worst thing they could be saying. All right. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. If you would like a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. And if you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right. Pile number two. And now I'm going to go ahead and go on to pile number three. Here we are with pile number here we are with pile number three. All right, pile number three. Let's see what your friends are saying about you behind your back. Oh boy. So we got number 35, never jam today. That says promises that never come to be. Empty words, not living in the in the now. Then we have number 29. Find the lesson. It says, discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. Then we have, we have the Six of Swords. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. What are your friends saying about you behind your back? Then we have the Magician. All right, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. Then we have the King of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Then we have the Queen of Wands. All right. Let's see, number 35, never jam today. It says, words are plentiful, but deeds are few. Thinking that the past and the future are better than the present. Being attracted by promises of good times and abundance that may never be kept. Boasting of plenty, but never enjoying it in the moment. Manipulation and withholding. Demand results in the present and work toward satisfying your desires yourself. Don't buy what they're selling. I see. So basically, they feel like that you, whether purposely or not, they feel like that you make promises that you never keep you have empty promises that you don't that you don't keep them you don't keep your promises and we have number 29 it says upheaval yeah 
quarrelsome people, disputes, antagonism, and confusion. Uncertainty about the purpose of a situation, feeling frustrated and ready to complain. Let it go to the universe. Ask the universe for clarity and trust that time will bring an understanding of the lessons this uncomfortable adventure is teaching you. So, they also feel like that this lessons that keep repeating themselves, but you can't seem to grasp what the lesson is, but instead you complain about it. They feel like that you're being detached from the world. It's like weird. It's like weird. It's like they think you're generous and giving person, but then they think you're greedy. Maybe out of selfishness, they feel like you keeping promises, not because you're being selfish, but out of greed to protect yourself or something. Maybe there's some kind of maybe lying. There, there's some kind of situation with this King of Cups and this Queen of Wands. It could be a, a relationship you're in. It might be that there's they're complaining they're upset because you're kind of covering yourself so you can go be with this other person because you're trying to manifest who you're being you want to be with because you're trying to have a new beginning with them and you're kind of being kind of secretive about it and it's causing confusion that's why they think that and you're you you seem detached because you're all up with this other person maybe they're jealous because you're giving time you're giving your time more to the person that you're romantically involved with instead of them. That's why they don't understand everything that's going on, it feels like. But you do. Maybe you could do something to clarify it or get new friends. <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of being a pain in the butt in that sense, aren't they? I don't know. It's kind of disappointing. You know, let me know in the comments what's going on. Because... <sighs> I mean, yeah, sometimes you get detached from your friends because you're trying to start a new relationship with somebody else or you're mixed up in your relationship. It's really hard to juggle everything else, you know? Well, no, I can understand it. Well, that's all I have for you, pile number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. Alright, well thank you very much and everybody have a great day or night. Bye bye.